there are more young people dying because of suicide than traffic accidents or cancer in Japan. And welcome to Let's Ask Shogo. I always love communicating with my fellow listeners who have contacted me through the DM of Instagram. One day, I was talking with a new friend who was studying about harakiri, and she told me that there are some studies that say the Japanese suicide rate among the young is very high today because they have the culture of killing themselves. Since ancient times, and wanted to know if this was true or not. So today, I will explain both the history and purpose of harakiri, and also about the horribly high rate of the young committing suicide today. At the end of the video, I will point out the two main differences between them and share my final opinion on whether they are related to each other or not. So, I hope you can watch till the end to understand the full picture. And even if you get confused somewhere during the middle, that's okay. I will wrap everything up again at the end of the video in today's conclusion. So, let's go to the next video. First, let's discuss the history and purpose of harakiri. By breaking it down into three points. One, what it was and when it was done. Two, why it was done. Three, why was it the stomach that was cut? One, what it was and when it was done. To make long story short, harakiri was a way to commit suicide by cutting your stomach with a sword. Hara means stomach and Kiri means to cut. It is believed that this culture has existed since the Heian period, which is more than 1,000 years ago. In the eras of war from the Kamakura to Sengoku, it was mainly a way for the warriors to kill themselves without being disgraced by getting killed by somebody else. It was thought of as an honorable way to die among the samurai. Having the bravery and courage to end your own life to protect your dignity, and sometimes your subordinates' lives too, with the leader taking his own life to protect them. Coming into the peaceful Edo period after the long eras of war, harakiri was formalized as an official death penalty for a samurai established by the government. Everything from your appearance, what you eat and drink the night before, In what kind of environment you do it, and the procedures of how you take off your clothes and cut your stomach were all fixed as a kind of ceremony. There will also be many other people involved, like the inspector who will confirm your death, the helper who will decapitate your head after you have stabbed your stomach in order to relieve you from the pain, and others watching the last moments of your life. So, this means that before the Edo period and for most of samurai history, harakiri was not unified, and the situation, as well as the way they cut their stomach, were different. While harakiri as a death penalty system lasted for more than 200 years, it was abolished in 1873 after the samurai society was overthrown. And the new westernized Meiji government started to take over. However, harakiri was a culture so deeply rooted among the Japanese that during World War II and even some in the late 20th century, many people committed harakiri as a way to end their lives. 2. Why it was done. Listening to such a story, I believe that the first thing that will come to your mind is why would they do such a horrifying thing? I just explained that in the war eras, harakiri was a way for the warriors to die, trying to avoid the shame of being killed by an enemy. However, especially in the Edo period, there are actually many other reasons for the people to commit harakiri because of the social system of that time. 
Unlike the war eras, the Edo period was very peaceful, and there was hardly any wars for more than two centuries. During the eras of war, it was quite easy for the samurai to change their lords if they wanted to. And even if they lost their honor in any way, they could go out to war and take credit in battle again. However, in the Edo period, the government laid out many laws to control the people and to keep them in their place. A strict class system clearly divided the samurai from the upper to lower classes, and there was no options of changing their lords, nor the jobs they were given from the government. Losing your honor meant that your family will no longer be samurai, and they will lose their homes and end up on the streets. So while the top priority during the war eras was to survive, during the Edo period, it was to protect your honor. Now that you understand the historical background, let me introduce to you the five main purposes of harakiri that are most commonly explained. One, punishment. Two, to take responsibility for a failure. Three, proof of innocence. 4. Protest 5. Following your lord's death Punishment is for example what we discussed earlier about the official death penalty during the Edo period. However again, harakiri was thought of as an honorable way to die among the samurai, being able to take your own responsibility for the mistakes you've made. So if the crimes you've committed were too horrible or brutal, you were not allowed to commit harakiri, but will get your heads chopped off instead, which was thought to be a very miserable way to die. And even if it wasn't your own mistake or crime, in order to take responsibility for failures of another samurai of your clan or family members, samurai will commit harakiri too to protect the honor of themselves and their family. Harakiri was also thought of as a way to appeal your innocence and express how serious you are about your beliefs. This is why even if you are wrongly suspected of a crime or mistake, or if there was something that you desperately wanted to protest to your lord, the samurai will cut their stomach. There were also some cases where samurai who have lost their lords would commit harakiri to die with them. This kind of suicide was not approved by the samurai government either, and they laid out laws to prevent it, but it couldn't be completely stopped. So you can understand how deep the relationship between the lords and their subordinates were due to the political measures of the Edo government. 3. Why was it the stomach that was cut? Cutting through your abs is very painful and you won't bleed enough to die immediately either. It is surely not an efficient way to die. It is not very rare for warriors in any culture to kill themselves by stabbing their throat or cutting their own neck. But why did the Japanese people choose to cut their stomach? The most commonly believed theory is written inside the famous Bushido, the Soul of Japan, published in 1899. Ancient anatomical beliefs say that one's soul and love resides within the abdomen. Harakiri was not mere suicide, but it was more of a last and ultimate declaration of your honesty, innocence, or beliefs by showing the purity of your soul to the people. Many people believe that any form of suicide is pathetic. And I too strongly believe that it should never be encouraged to anyone. But at the same time, we cannot ignore the fact that there are many people who became legends and their last messages and wills are still alive today because they've committed harakiri. Next, let's understand the horrible situation of the young committing suicide in Japan today also by breaking the topic down into three points. One, suicide is the number one cause of death among the young. 
Two, why they are choosing to end their own lives. Three, how they are ending their own lives. One, suicide is the number one cause of death among the young. This may be shocking, but suicide is the number one cause of death for both for men and women from 15 to 39 years old, which is a terrible problem that can only be seen in Japan among the G7 countries. There are more young people dying because of suicide than traffic accidents or cancer in Japan. This is the actual data presented by the Ministry of Health, Labor, and Welfare. You can understand that a total of 5,130 people from 15 to 39 years old took their own lives in 2018. That's about 15 people a day. By the way, in 2016, the suicide rate throughout Japan was number 7 out of 43 countries in the world. And thankfully, the number has been declining for more than a decade. However, we must note that the number of suicide deaths among those younger than 20 are not declining, but have been almost the same. 2. Why they are choosing to end their own lives Next, let's take a look at the reasons why the younger generation in Japan are committing suicide. The data presented by the government is separated into those in their 10s, 20s, and 30s. Tens. Number one, school problems. Number two, health problems. Number three, family problems. Twenties. Number one, health problems. Number two, work problems. Number three, economic and living problems. Thirties. Number one, health problems. Number two, economic and living problems. Number three, work problems. Health problems are included in every generation. But depression seems to be the biggest reason for suicide. The other reasons are topics I've already covered in videos I've made in the past, where I talked about my own experience of being bullied at school, and explained why there are so many companies with terrible working environments. Data shows that these social problems are causing actual harm by making people choose death. 3. How they are ending their own lives Again, according to the data offered by the Ministry of Health, Labor, and Welfare, the way the people use to end their lives are the following. Number 3. Carbon monoxide poisoning Number 2. Jumping from heights Number 1. Hanging You can understand that about two-thirds of the people choose hanging in all generations. One point is that the usage of an edged tool to end one's life is not even in top three for both genders and all ages. Now that we've focused on each point, let's summarize the differences between harakiri and modern suicide as a conclusion of today's video. The two very obvious differences between them are how they kill themselves and why they kill themselves. The ultimate purpose of harakiri was not just suicide, but to show your bravery, honesty, and to state your last declaration to the people by enduring the pain of cutting your stomach and showing them your soul. It was a ceremonial act you did with many people watching you, and it was meant to protect your honor or the lives and future of your clan and family. Which means, if the method of killing yourself was something other than cutting your stomach, or if the purpose was not to protect your honor or the lives of someone else, it was regarded as mere suicide in the samurai era too. And it wasn't anything noble at all. The Japanese people today, of course, don't believe that our souls belong in our stomachs. And the purpose of ending their own lives is because they can't bear the pain they are currently experiencing. 
While I was making this video, I found some Japanese people too saying, many people choose to commit suicide because of their sense of responsibility when something goes wrong, and that this originated from the Japanese harakiri culture. But then what about the students in China and Korea, for example, who kill themselves because they failed to enter the schools their parents wanted them to? I think that saying the harakiri culture is the reason why there are many young committing suicide today is a wild and irresponsible theory. It puts the focus away from trying to understand the real reasons why the young are dying. And it's as if their deaths are justified and understandable. No one deserves to die. And we must all try to solve this tragic social problem seriously. I'm already working with a private group in Kyoto, working to protect the precious and important lives of the people. And I will surely keep you updated on what I learn and experience. Then lastly, today's conclusion. Harakiri was a way to commit suicide by cutting your stomach with a sword. The culture has existed from the Heian period, which was over 1,000 years ago, and it lasted until the 1970s. During the war eras, it was mainly a way for the warriors to die trying to avoid the shame of being killed by an enemy. The situations and the way they cut their stomach was different in every situation. However, in the Edo period, the way of Harakiri was unified and formalized as an official death penalty established by the government. There were mainly five reasons why a person would commit Harakiri. 1. Punishment. 2. To take responsibility for failure. 3. Proof of innocence. 4. Protest. 5. Following your lord's death. Since ancient times, it has been believed in Japan that one's soul and love resides within the stomach. So although it was a very painful and non-efficient way to die, it was considered a noble way to die, showing your bravery and innocence to the people. Harakiri was not mere suicide, but more of a last decoration using your life. It is a shocking fact that the leading cause of death among people from 15 to 39 years old is suicide. This is a terrible problem that can only be seen in Japan among the G7 countries. The main reasons why they take their own lives is because of health problems, school problems, family problems, economic and living problems, work problems, etc. About two-thirds of the people who end their own lives choose hanging. Jumping from heights and carbon monoxide poisoning follow from the leading ways that are used for suicide. Saying the harakiri culture is the reason why there are many young people committing suicide today is a very irresponsible theory because it's as if their deaths are justified and understandable. No one deserves to die, and I will be working too to solve this problem seriously. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you learned anything new through this video, please hit the like button to let me know. And my goal is to achieve 1 million subscribers by January 2023, so your help is what I need. In this channel, you can take a closer look at Japanese traditional culture, tips on traveling to Kyoto, and social problems in Japan. So learners and lovers of Japanese language and culture, be sure to subscribe to enjoy more content. And please check out our new sub-channel and membership in the description box. Thanks again, and I'll see you in my next video. Domo, arigatou gozaimashita.